Hello, my name is Kai here in Santa Cruz, California. Um, my deal is building shamisen, teaching, selling, and leading a shamisen community called Bachido. Uh, I've been setting, practicing, speaking ish Japanese for about 15 years. Well, I was homeschooled uh, growing up, and in our homeschool community, a family, I believe they had a homestay family from Taiwan coming. And they came to the house, and the father in the, in the family uh, did uh, some calligraphy. And I kind of expressed interest, and my dad said, oh, you, is this something you want to learn? And I said, yeah. So we you know, got books and Pimsleur tapes and such. Uh, yes, this for cassette days. Uh, so that's kind of how it was just, you know, that kind of interest. Uh, Japanese, it connected more. I mean, I like the sound, kind of the phonetic sound of Japanese already, but through shamisen gave it a bit more practical context. Like I was hearing Japanese in the songs, in the folk songs, and I was kind of wondering, I wonder what, what that means. Um, and at this time, the person I was studying with, Kevin Metz in Santa Cruz, he brought over a fellow who's now my business partner, uh, Nita Masahiro-san. Um, and at the time he came over and gave me a little lesson, I didn't know what he was saying. But at this point, I was kind of feeling that my world was going to be more shamisen centric, which at this time it was just a hobby. But I was kind of just feeling the momentum of where this was going. So I was thinking maybe this is something I should know how to somewhat understand. Um, I started learning with uh, Pimsleur, those Pimsleur tapes that was on MP3. And I would have them on while I was learning how to build shamisen at home, so I would just repeat as I worked. After that, I moved on to Rosetta Stone, and that was a big part of learning. I had already practiced Chinese before, so the kanji, Hanzo and such, had enough similarities that that really helped the process go forward. Uh, how I continued from there was I um, got a pen pal in Japan. That helped a lot for building vocabulary and kind of a bit more context, because there's, you know, the in a way, school Japanese, or the it's either super polite, or they so you won't make any miss any fumbles, as it were. And then casual J Japanese, which <clears throat> we all omit the wa's and the na's and such. Uh, so I studied with the kind of more formal thing for three years, self-taught, and then moved on to having a pen pal, and then um, with business partners or different people in the shamisen world I connected with and then with my minimal Japanese could speak with them and then through speaking with them that um, grew vocabulary and incorrect grammar and all the things that make it more fluent. Japanese has affected my life personally due to having much closer connection uh, to the people I was interacting with uh, in the shamisen world in Japan specifically because um, <clears throat> kind of going back to the first time when I was meeting Nita Masahiro-san, who got me interested in Japanese and such, speaking Japanese, at that time, Mike Penny uh, was at the house too, and he was kind of translating for me. So, you know, there was this wall or this conduit. Um, but, you know, going from that to, even if the vocabulary isn't at the same level, just still having that wall broken and just feeling of the person or that comfort having that comfort is quite nice earlier on especially i was worried about making mistakes when speaking and it kind of came from that whole oh i don't want people to think i'm a gaijin ridiculous um, but with that kind of fear of if i make a mistake then that was going to be the feeling <clears throat> that made me make more mistakes being kind of held up with that it would only be when i'd have a drink then think you loosen up but that's another story um, but later on, what I realized is that the connections I had made with Japanese friends, um, of, of which point, about eight years ago, there were many, um, <clears throat> is that the connection wasn't there because I was speaking enough Japanese. It was through shamisen. Um, that's, that was our connecting point, our mutual interest. And I just have a feeling that even if I didn't speak much at all, that probably wouldn't have been affected. I think that was the thing that connected us. 
think just the shared language just made it even better, less Mendoxai to uh, interact. Um, and that's, that's kind of, I improved a lot more when I realized, you know, what I'm doing, how I'm engaging with my friends and people are, um, is through the instrument, not through how well we can talk about politics. If at all possible, connect the language. If you, if you have another interest within the cultural, within the culture of that language, I suppose, do that as well so you can kind of build a connection between whatever hobby, art that is, and the language. Giving that practical connection, for me at least, it helped make under, give um, a deeper understanding to things um, and provided encouragement as well. Uh, and then, you know, make pen pals or meet people who also speak the language because 